think you can give me some competition? Sure, I'll try it. That's what I like to hear. Kid who isn't afraid to lose. No, no, I got it. I want to take your money. You ready? I like this kind of fighting, huh? Yeah. If you want to see some real fighting, you can see me fight at the Kumite. I'm here, too, for the Kumite. Aren't you a little young for full contact? Aren't you a little old for video games? You want to go at it again, huh? Yeah. Again, thanks for stopping by the Max Impact 24 channel. This time I am talking about Data East. The NES years. Now, Data East was a uh, pretty good publisher developer of said video games like arcade and NES games. They're, I think they're more commonly known for their arcade games like Tag Team Wrestling and uh, Burger Time, Robocop, things like that. But you know, I think NES-wise, um, a lot of people kind of overlook them or kind of discount them. It's like, uh, they're kind of mediocre at best. A lot of their games, mediocre to crap. And I don't know if I feel that way. I think there's a lot of overlooked good high-score games, a lot of good overlooked gems. So this is NES, the Data East years. Enjoy. Games like Robocop and Bad Dudes and even Al Unser Jr.'s Turbo Racing, which is a game I just picked up and is great. These games are vastly overlooked. And you know what? Maybe they're not the best at controls or graphics or, you know, even musically, but I think that cobbled together, Frankensteined up, that they're pretty good games. Uh, the ones that I've mentioned, plus some other ones, uh, you know. Uh, there's a lot of crap, you know, I mean, Ring King gets a bad rap because of that unfortunate in-between rounds deal. But it's a great solid game, not as good as Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, but Mike Tyson's Punch-Out is not a boxing simulator, it's an arcade experience. Ring King is more kind of trying to simulate boxing, I believe. 
Um, but, you know, I mean, you have your Dash Galaxies, and you've got Battle Chats, and, you know, games like that. But you got Cobra Command and Breakthrough. Those are some great games, you know. I mean, they're not the best on the NES, but they're great filler games. They're great high score games, games that won't take you very long to beat. You know, I just kind of put in for maybe less than half an hour, have a good time. Then put in, you know, put in an RPG, put in Final Fantasy, put in, you know, Legend of Zelda, something that has more substance, you know, more style. But anyways, guys, maybe I've changed some of your viewpoints on Daddy East. I hope you uh, really take a look at some of these games that I've mentioned. I mean, not all of them are great, of course not. But there's a lot of good overlooked gems, I think. So, anyways, guys, this is the Max Impact 24 channel. Comment down below, what do you think of Daddy East? Did you have a favorite arcade game? Maybe Robocop? Maybe, maybe you've played uh, Bad Dudes in the arcade. Maybe not. 